two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. We'll still go on Apollo 11 at this time. The vehicle starting to pressurize as far as the propellant tanks are concerned, and all is still go as we monitor our status board. Two minutes, 10 seconds and counting. The target for the Apollo 11 astronauts, the moon at liftoff will be at a distance of 218,096 miles away. We just passed the two minute mark in the countdown, T minus one minute, 54 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates that the oxidizer tanks in the second and third stages now have pressurized. We continue to build up pressure in all three stages uh, here at the last minute uh, to prepare it for liftoff. T minus one minute, 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. All indications uh, coming in uh, to the control center at this time indicate we are go. One minute, 25 seconds in the counting. Our status board indicates the third stage completely pressurized. 80 second mark has now been passed. We'll go on full internal power at the 50 second mark in the countdown. Guidance system goes on internal at 17 seconds, leading up to the ignition sequence at 8.9 seconds. We're approaching the 60 second mark on the Apollo 11 mission. T minus 60 seconds and counting. We pass T minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong just reported back. It's been a real smooth countdown. We passed the 50 second mark. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. You can see the water down the stage is beginning in now there now. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12. 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It looks good, Wally. Yeah, we got a roll program. Somebody must be leaving the arm. Building shaking. We're getting that buffeting we've become used to. What a moment. Man on the way to the moon. so far, doesn't it, Willie? Very good, very good. That's it. That's Yes, indeed. Red line is lit. Oh, there we're starting to contract now. See it beautifully. See it beautifully on the. Everything is go right on the screen here. We're through the region of maximum dynamic pressure now. Yeah, everything looks good here. Yeah. We're at 1350 in the start bar. Eight miles downrange. I'm not sure they're on the fan. I'm looking at it on the screen. I'm looking at it up the window. Feet per second. Cliff Charlesworth taking a staging status. Mrs. Houston, you are go for staging. That's for the, uh, that's for dropping the first stage, going through the second stage power. Inboard cutoff. Inboard engines out. Come inboard cutoff. We're hearing from the capsule communicator, astronaut Ken Mattingly at uh, Mission Control in Houston, talking to the uh, 
Aston Martin. Downrange 35 miles, 30 miles high. Standing by for the outboard engine cut down now. And this is reporting, uh, this is Jack Riley reporting the voice of mission control. There we go. Station. <coughs> and ignition. Each of these events are very yes, we'll interesting to us. Levin Houston, thrusters go. All engines, you're looking good. Hi, Roger. You're loud and clear, Houston. At three minutes, downrange 70 miles, 43 miles high velocity, 1,300 feet per second. We got the skirt step. Roger, we confirm skirt step. Should have had the launch escape set of some depth, Neil Armstrong confirming both the engine skirt separation and the launch escape tower separation. There we go. Houston, be advised, the visual is go today. <laughs> this is Houston, Roger out. What was that? So the visual it's simulation right. is going. Yeah, you can't hear you. Houston, 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 uh, your guidance is converged. You're looking good. The boost protective cover comes off, and the windows Down are very clear. Down range, 40 miles. Oh. Altitude, 62 miles. Velocity, 10,300 feet per second. 11, Houston, you are go at four minutes. Gotcha. The second stage of these five J2 engines. Oh, right on the ground track. Off a million, 125,000 pounds of thrust. That's an amazing camera that uh, Space Agency has there. We can still see that spacecraft, and at this point, uh, it is almost 93 miles high, 288 miles, miles down. Range range. Now, 72 miles high, velocity 11,000 feet per second. Almost 8,000 miles an hour. It's got to get up to 17,500 to go into Earth orbit. Before uh, the first uh, booster says it's looking good at five minutes. Well, then Houston, you are go at five minutes. The next, uh, Roger, 11, go. The next critical moment will be when that uh, second stage jettisons and we get that uh, fourth stage ignition for the first time. It's got to go. It's 270 miles. It's mostly going to us. Velocity 12,472 feet per second. Fly to S4B to COI capability. Okay. Mark, that's where we Continuously orbit insertion. Where you can abort to orbit. It doesn't mean you complete the mission, but you orbit using the S4B flight. if necessary. Oh, thank you. You all are coming through beautifully, too. Something like gauges are jumping around. I'm not sure what the Level sense arm is. is the sequence that uh, arranges the staging between the second stage and the third stage. The fuel uncovers uh, a sensor starting that sequence. Uh, I'm sure it's not uh, of major significance other than the fact Predicting that, that will be uncovered. Okay, we've got a minute 70 seconds. We've got to look at the... Set off 9 minutes 11 seconds on the second stage. Minute, look at the empty launch pad and some of those. Uh, 25,000 gallons of water that pour Houston, over Roger, it to the cool it. At seven Level sense time at 8 plus 1, 7. Outboard cut off at 9 plus 1, 1. Roger. So good is this deluge system. Downrange 530 miles. It's complicated. Altitude 95 miles. Velocity 17,358 feet per second. That uh, it's uh, capable of uh, keeping the damage to a minimum on the pad, and they can turn around and use those uh, service module, the service uh, 
uh, stands almost instantly. Yes, it's uh, quite a quite a change. We used to take quite a while to repair the pad. Still the right down the ground track, still go at seven minutes forty one seconds. We'll bid the first of the burn. Are you reconfirm? Inboard engines are out on the second stage as planned. Looks like another perfect Saturn V launch. What a feat they've come to with these Saturns uh, after the early days of Mercury and uh, and uh, even Gemini. But this, these Saturns on time launches. Uh, uh, I wish we could get American railroads to run on the kind of schedule that uh, Von Braun and Devis and company have got these Apollos launched on. You know what uh, is amazing is the fact that we finally have man-rated boosters here. Uh, I don't know uh, uh, all sorts. New York, go at eight minutes. Ask just about the picture ratio, Chef. Oh, okay. Roger, we got PU shift down here, too. 